Does your dog enjoy running? Are you looking for a new way to spend time with them and get some exercise? Well, dryland mushing could be your next sport. Dryland mushing is a term used to describe all dog-powered sports without snow and can be enjoyed in a variety of ways, on foot, on mountain bike, on a scooter, or even on a rig. Canacross is dog-powered running. This means that you and the dog are connected to one another and work as a team navigating cross-country trails. Canacross is the easiest place to get started, even if you intend on moving onto wheels. By connecting your dog and running or walking, you have a safe place to teach your dog all of the necessary cues, like left and right, or haw and gee, on by for passing distractions, whoa to stop, hike hike to get them moving, and line out to ask them to put pressure onto the line. Canacross is a great sport for people and dogs of all, all right, ages and sizes and is a wonderful way for you to get moving with your dog. Another form of dryland mushing is bike joring. This is where the dog is attached to a mountain bike and runs out front. The same cues are used to safely direct the dog on the trails with left and right, changes in speed, and even stopping. Bike joring can be done on wide and flat trails or even on curvy mountain bike trails. With wheels underneath the musher, the dog is really able to open up and run at even faster speeds. Bike joring can be done with just one dog, but it can also be done with two, three, or four, depending on the size and strength of the dogs. Whenever you attach two dogs to each other, make sure that the dogs enjoy working with one another and both understand the different direction cues. Bye, Bike drawing is a wonderful way for families to get out together and enjoy their dogs and the natural environment around them. People can also participate in dryland mushing with scooters and rigs. Scooters are two-wheeled vehicles that do not allow for any human assistance with pedals. Rigs are three or four-wheeled carts in which the musher stands up on. No matter how you choose to get involved with dryland mushing, it's a wonderful activity for the dogs and for the humans. It's a great way for us to connect and get fit together.